and I'm a Boston College nursing student. So I'm currently a sophomore and today was our first day of classes. If you can tell, I'm wearing my scrubs. So my first day of classes today was going to clinical, going to MGH, and starting the actual nursing process, which is kind of really crazy. As you guys could tell from the title of this video, I'm just going to share my first day experience with you guys. Before today, I was super nervous about my first day of clinical and like what to expect and everything. So hopefully I can give some insight into my own experience and um, maybe that can help ease some of your anxiety or restlessness and also just a time for me to share my story because I do not want to forget um, today, my first time actually doing nursing stuff. Not really, kind of, but not really at all. I mean, I'm still really nervous for clinical because today we technically didn't really do anything. So clinical has definitely been something I've been looking forward to. I feel like every nursing student is probably looking forward to it because the previous semesters, we do a lot of learning. We learn about nursing theory, about like how to be a good nurse who helps patients holistically, who assist with patient-centered care in mind um, and we learn pathophysiology we learn anatomy and physiology microbiology all those like hard lecture classes that are fun and I think are really interesting but at the same time it's like what does a nurse actually do I think that's the main question so going to clinical is definitely really exciting to see like oh this is what I'll be doing in the future or I can figure out if this is something that I actually want to pursue so yeah I just wanted to share my first day of clinical story with you guys. It all began over winter break when we all got our clinical placements. I didn't film when this happened because it was all really spontaneous. So I'll reenact it for you guys. Imagine me and my family driving in a car. I forget where exactly we were going, but that's irrelevant to the story. And then I just checked my email and my lab teacher sends us an email. It's like, oh, your clinical placements are here, whatever. I opened the email and I scrolled down to my name and it says, Olivia Yang, MGH. And I tell my parents, I'm like, I have this MGH. And then my parents are like, Oh, yay, Olivia, congrats. And then I'm like, yay. And then I'm like, oh, wait, by the way, it's like, I know places, by the way. It's not like I apply for anything. And they're like, oh. And they're like, oh, yay, that's still so exciting. So that's basically what clinical placements are like at Boston College. You get placed in a random place. And then basically, fast forward to the night before clinicals. So yesterday night for me. I packed all my things up in my backpack, got everything ready because I knew I had had to wake up really early. Clinicals for us is from 7 a.m. to 1 p.m. So I was like, okay, I just need to get everything ready so that when I wake up, I can just like, just take everything and leave. The night before, um, I set so many alarms just to make sure that I'd wake up in the morning and they were all like 5, 5.05, 5.09. There were so many alarms. When I was going to sleep, I was really nervous and I was really restless. Usually when I tuck myself in bed, I fall asleep right away. But yesterday night, I was nervous for clinical in general. I was nervous for nursing in general, if I would like it or not. I was nervous about going to um, the hospital alone because I had planned to go by myself um, just because I wanted to have some alone time and just like reflect on everything. But then I was suddenly thinking like, oh my goodness, I'm going at night. Like, what if I get robbed or something? So I was like, um, maybe I should have did something, but it was already like 11 p.m. at night and I couldn't message anybody because probably everyone was sleeping. So that leads us to today morning, the day of my first clinical in nursing school at Boston College. I had so many alarms, right? So I woke up to one of them at like 5.15 or something and it was so dark outside. The sun hasn't even risen, but I actually got up at around 5.20. Good morning. Oh. Tried to wake myself up and make sure I looked decent. Yeah, it was so early in the morning that my eyes were literally puffy and swollen because I didn't get enough sleep. You know, from all that nervousness from the previous day, I needed to hype myself up. So I said to myself, You got this girl, let's do this. And now, now I was ready. 
So I picked up a delicious oatmeal banana cookie that I made over break and I headed out. And you know how I said I got everything ready the night before? Well, let me correct myself. I thought I got everything ready the night before. My shoes are moving. Okay, now I was ready to leave. You coming with me? It's so cold. Oh, the train's leaving. Oh, man. Gotta get the next one. I hopped on the 6 a.m. Beeline train to head to MGH. It was so empty. There were like no nursing students. So I knew I was either really early or late. And I was assuming that it was the latter. So I thought about going to the hospital with other people the night before, but I just wanted some alone time to myself for the first day, just so I didn't have to socialize and could just relax. So I listened to some worship music because that's like the only music that really calms me down and brings me peace. I hopped off the green line at Park Street and headed on the red line that brought me to MGH. And there were so many people on that train wearing scrubs. Like, I felt like I wasn't one of them yet because this is my first day and I have no idea what I'm doing. But at the same time, I was like, oh my goodness, I'm literally wearing scrubs like you guys, which is super cool. In my journey to becoming a nurse, I'm like literally a toenail in. So this is my little glimpse into nursing and I felt like, oh my goodness, this is so exciting. So I didn't really know what I was doing because I was by myself and I didn't really know how to get to MGH or like where I was really going, like where's the main entrance and stuff like that. So I just followed the mass of people going to M MGH wearing their scrubs, having their MGH backpacks and I was like, oh yeah, I'm one of them. <laughs> I got to the Yaki outpatient center. So at this point I stopped recording because I was just like too excited. Uh, I just took some pictures of my first steps being an official, not official, slash soon to be nurse. They're really bad quality, but like high quality at heart, you know. So basically at BC, our clinical group consists of around five people. And then we have a clinical instructor that works at the hospital. Because it was our first day, of course, we got a tour of the hospital. The first place we went was the atrium on the sixth floor of the Lunder building, I believe it's called, and it was so beautiful. The view of Boston is so pretty. For sure, one day after clinical, I'm just gonna stay there and study because that is a beautiful place and I wanna be there more often and take advantage of that space. We just toured around all of MGH, basically. We looked at the pharmacy, we saw like the ambulatory like entrance area, if that's what it's called, I'm not sure. Oh, then we got our badges to enter into the building. Here's our my MGH bag, student badge. So I can go into like some areas, but like not other areas. And it's so cool. I have like access. It's on a like, I'm like, and then I open the door and I'm official. No. One day I'll eventually know the ins and outs of the building, but for now it was like a maze. Dude. I can't believe I'm in the hospital. It's so crazy, it like blows my mind. Like I feel like I just came to college yesterday and now I'm at the hospital starting my nurse nursing clinical. <laughs> so after touring the hospital, we went to the floor that our clinical group is placed on, which is a general medicine floor. So because of COVID right now, a lot of the patients on the general medicine floor are COVID patients, um, but nursing students aren't allowed in those rooms just for our own safety so like other people are, that are there have a wide range of different conditions and they're like on medications for that so these are all like inpatients so yeah um our clinical instructor gave us a tour of the floor i think our clinical instructor is super cool she gave me an insight into what nursing actually is because when I think of the hospital, I think of like doctors and they're like treating the patients. So what do nurses actually do is a question. From my limited experience today, what I saw in her is that she knew a little bit of everything or a lot of bit of everything. Let me, let me just like back up for a sec. So our clinical instructor allowed us today to kind of 
get into what we do in clinicals. Honestly, I have no idea what we usually do, but today we took vital signs for patients, so we got paired up, and then our instructor obviously went with us because it was our first time actually interacting with a real patient and not with like our partner in the simulation lab. So we walked in and like took their vital signs, um, meaning that we took their blood pressure, we took their pulse oximetry, which is just like their oxygen levels in their blood, and um, we also took their temperature with like a... It was really cool the way that our clinical instructor interacted with the patients because she's never been on this floor before and like obviously first time actually interacting with these patients. It was so eye-opening to see how she was comfortable immediately and like how natural she was at communicating with them on like asking like how they're feeling, asking them if they need anything else and just like making small talk or like putting in some jokes here and there and like really making their day a lot better and to me I was like oh dang like that's so cool of her to be someone in the hospital that like brings a smile to your face when you're in such a difficult position because personally for me even though my channel is very like oh nursing student i'm a nursing student hey i'm a nursing student i'm a boston college nursing student you guys have heard me say that so many times and like my videos speak more than words but what you guys haven't seen on the screen is that i'm actually not entirely sure if i want to do nursing because I know that I really do like health sciences. I really like how science applies to the human body and I know I want to go into something in the realm of health sciences, but after learning like pathology, anatomy, and physiology, I realized how much I like the content and how much I want to use that content in my profession. And I felt like for nursing, okay, this is all my feeling. I really don't take my word for this. I honestly, am just beginning this whole process so these are some questions i i have that maybe you guys may have don't take them as statements but just like questions that i have that i want to share um just in case you guys are thinking about the same thing we might be in the same boat basically like do i want to do more heavily like science related things and work more on like healing the disease as like a doctor or something um, and that has been on my mind for like the past few months. Today doesn't change a thing. Like I'm still not sure about what exactly I want to do. But after today, I realized that like, dang, nurses are actually kind of really cool. Um, because in addition to like being able to talk to them and like, well, okay, everybody can talk to people. But like, and this is also just one clinical instructor and like one nurse. Um, but seeing that aspect through her made me admire nurses even more also like when we looked up like patient history to kind of get a gauge of um, the patients that we're working with and like the conditions that they have like what their vital signs are approximately like whether they have high blood pressure and stuff like that what meds they are on and whatever all that stuff i realized how nurses really look at a patient holistically and know like a bit of everything. For example, one of the patients that some people in my clinical group took vital signs of, he was in the psych department before and he got transferred to our general medicine floor. Our, our, my, our, well, okay, that's kind of cool. Um, anyway, our general medicine floor, um, she noted that and she's like, oh, this is what this condition is like. These are the side effects of the medications that he's taking and she really used that information to cater her care and really remember that this is patient-centered care i'm here to help the patient get through the struggles that they're going through we're not having the patients meet us where we are but we're meeting them where they are which i just thought was really cool like the conscientiousness that nurses have is super cool and she also like used a lot of the knowledge she had she used so many terms that i didn't know that i've like heard in Grey's anatomy it was just super cool getting that like little insight i'm so excited for the next clinical days to learn through observation to see my clinical instructor to see the other nurses on the unit and like the other doctors and how they all work together to really take care of each patient that they have um so yeah i'm super excited but me going into like the patient room today that was that was also like super amazing honestly like 
we didn't really do that much. And clinical instructor did a lot of the talking and like measuring blood pressure was all with like a machine. So we just like wrapped the cuff around their arm and then pressed the button and let it do its magic to measure their blood pressure. But it was honestly amazing. Um, afterwards, our patient requested some ice. So we got him some ice and, you know, I tried to say some words to him. And I was like, let me know if you need anything else, you know, like as a normal person should, just to help help their patient with anything that they need. My words did not come out like that though. I was like, let me know anything, I, I don't even know. I was just like, my tongue was twisted and yeah, but you know, we're working on that. Today is our first day, it's a super exciting day and we'll get there eventually. And that was my first day of clinical. So we walked out of the hospital, the day was blue, the cars were honking, no they weren't, but we were in Boston. I came back to get some lunch. This girl in the dining hall, she saw the scrubs I was wearing. She's like, oh, she's wearing scrubs. And that made me so happy. I was like, oh my gosh. Yeah, I'm like one of those nursing students that I saw last semester that I saw last year wearing the scrubs, walking on campus in their cool maroon BC scrubs. It's just like crazy that like I'm one of them too. I still don't really know what to expect. Um, don't really know the patients I'm gonna encounter and still not really sure on what exactly we do in clinical because today was obviously really different. We were getting introduced to the material, but today has made me less anxious about what we will encounter and um, also made me really excited about what we'll encounter and like how much we'll learn and how much we'll see like we'll see the textbooks coming to life this this is all really crazy i'm really excited and i'll definitely be posting more stories when we actually go to clinical of course patient privacy gonna keep that very much in mind but um, just sharing my experience so hopefully if you guys are looking into nursing school or about to prepare for your first clinical that I'll be able to share some of my experiences and um, yeah, hopefully alleviate some stress and bring some excitement because talking about it has definitely made me more excited for this whole possibly nursing career ahead of me. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!